Welcome guys, this is your Mr. Olympia champion, Brandon Curry. And today you're gonna follow me on my full day of eating for two weeks out from the Olympia. cardio basically did 40 minutes of cardio and I have my first first meal right after cardio uh, I have a problem eating just egg whites only they make me nauseous so I gotta have a little bit of whole eggs in there to keep me from getting nauseous so I'll put these in the microwave with this meal I also have a couple scoops of cream of rice scoop this like this And that's 50 gram per scoop. So like 50 grams, 100 grams, you got like uh, 78 grams of carbohydrates. And just this little small bowl here. So I'll so add a little water. A little spoon here. Just gonna stir it up. So pretty simple. Not special. Traditional bodybuilder style breakfast. Take the eggs out. We'll just sit these in the microwave until they're ready to heat them up. You guys probably want to know the breakdown of this this meal with the basically the 10 egg whites the three whole eggs and an omelet and then uh i guess the 70 something 70 almost 80 grams of, of carbohydrates i'm getting from the cream of rice uh with this meal i don't really know exactly we don't really necessarily count calories specifically we keep the protein to the around a normal range and we adjust the carbohydrates as the prep uh, goes on so or change out the sources of protein for more uh, fish uh, versus less chicken or steak or salmon. So right now it, we're eating uh, one chicken meal, uh, one steak meal, and uh, three fish meals with eggs. One of the differences I noticed, if I go to Graham's and get this freshly done, I had this done the night before, so I would have to run over there this morning. But if I go to Graham's, it always seems like more because when they're freshly cooked, it's like they're bigger, they're puffy, full of air. When you uh, put them in the fridge for a little bit, then they decompress and uh, they, I guess they get more dense. And they look, it's like it's less, way less than this. I got it, got it fresh. Typically with this meal, I take my vitamin D and my selenium with this meal. So I try to get about 2,000 I use, or maybe even a little bit more of vitamin D. And then I take about 50 micrograms of selenium every morning versus in the evening. Before I go to bed, I'm taking my magnesium, uh, my zinc supplements, my melatonin, see any other minerals that I would need before I, to help me rest better. Pretty much what I like to get in before I go to bed. So basically, I finished the eggs. So I want to eat the, the cream of rice whole. I want my dad back. I'm a slow eater, I don't eat very fast. I like to take my time, chew my food. So I let this warm up for 30 seconds, I'll mix it. Get all the thickness out and then I'll warm it up for another 30 seconds. Hopefully it'll be done. But let me go grab a seat. Mix it up, pump out. I like my 
my creamy rice, not too thick, you know, kind of runny. Not too thick. I typically just take a nap. I don't sleep very long overnight, so I get a lot of sleep in between uh, this meal and, and my next meal, uh, which will be chicken and rice. Uh, typically, I eat six meals a day. I know uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of meals, but back in the day, we used to think, you know, the more meals you eat, the more you stimulate your metabolism, which is not necessarily true. It's basically the, the food that you consume that stimulates your metabolism, the amount of food. Uh, that gets your metabolism going. And um, the meal frequency we thought, you know, was good for protein synthesis, but it looked like research, recent research is the optimal uh, meal frequency for po protein synthesis optimization would be typically from four to five, five meals. Uh, so that six meal is an extra meal. So in off season, sometimes I eat five meals a day and that's fine for the amount of protein I'm consuming. As long as I split it, split it over those five meals and I'm simulating protein synthesis over those Five meals, it's, it's enough for growth. Uh, so, but in uh, prep, you know, trying to eat a little bit, maybe a little bit more frequently, trying to uh, stave off hunger. I had that six meal uh, in, so I'm not hungry. And I can eat a little bit more frequently, especially with things like fish that clear your, digest your digestive system very, very quickly. So it can leave you hungrier, uh, you know, in between meals when you want to be full and you don't want to be hungry when you're dying, if you can help it. But of course, it gets the point where you have to be hungry to get the results, but we like to stay that off as much as possible. So that six meal is a sweet spot. Uh, but for me, regular life, the comfortable five meals a day is, is normally comfortable for me to get all my calories in and not be uncomfortable throughout the day as far as being too full. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a, take a nice nap right now. I'll see you guys probably for this next meal somewhere around 2, 2.30. So uh, you guys, until then, I'm gonna get some sleep. Welcome back guys, for another meal. We are after nap, meal two. Now, this is a pretty simple meal, standard bodybuilding meal. Uh, chicken and rice, 220 chicken, 200 rice, made of uh, chicken with a little ketchup. Just for a little flavor. Nice and hot. Yeah. And meat. I slept a little bit longer than I wanted to, so it's about 3 o'clock. I need mean, this second meal here. Hey guys, finally finished this meal, knocked it out. Meal number two. Uh, you know, right before I train, so I'm gonna let this digest a little bit. And I'll probably maybe have some proteins, maybe some BCAs before I actually train. Give me a little fuel before training, but you know, this right now, this is it. I may just kick back and relax, may even. May even take another nap or two, you will see. <laughs> All right, guys, before we head to go train, quick some protein before I head to hit the gym, some whey isolates here. Just before I go train, then we're gonna head out and hit it. And you may see me drinking some BCAs or whatnot, no, EAAs, sorry, in, in, in the workout. So uh, that's just how it goes, but we're about to hopefully get a good training session in. All right, catch up with us. <laughs> Guys, we finished training. Now headed to go get the post workout meal. Yeah. After your dream coming, when you uh, 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 when first time Olympia, what your dream come on? My dream come on. 
Did I have a... Yeah, what you like? What you like? Did you like... Uh, some like... Uh, uh, some like Lehani or Ronnie Coleman? Winning uh, more, more, more than uh, one time. Or more than a time. Well, you know, it's... It's like... It's like you set out to win, right? Yeah. You don't know when you're gonna win. You don't know when you're gonna win. But you know, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set out to win. So finally, yeah, I won. And now I'm setting out to win more. I don't know how many I'm gonna win or how long I'm going to want to continue to compete. But right now I do, so I'm continuing to. Hey guys, we're here at the Cheesecake Factory over here, right over here by the the famous Kuwait Towers here. You can go up in there and eat or something, right? Like a restaurant or something there too. So it's pretty cool. It's uh, famous here in Kuwait. All right, uh, unexpected, unexpected third meal over here at the Cheesecake Factory. Looks like today we're having some salmon, some rice, and probably some grilled broccoli, right? Salmon, rice, and broccoli meal here. Uh, you know, about, looks like about 220 uh, rice, about maybe 200, 220 uh, salmon. So. Restaurant, you don't know exactly what I eat. Taking down a third meal. See you guys at the flat. Right now it's around 11 o'clock. We're headed for my fourth meal, so uh, I'm gonna go with some steak and crabs. Excuse me, sir. Here is your grill steak, 200 grams with 200 grams sweet potato and mushroom sauce on the side. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. As you said, this is my steak meal, 200 grams medium, uh, 200 grams sweet potato. Uh, this is uh, steak meal, meal number what, four? So uh, we're going to knock this out here at Grams. And, uh, you know, I like this so hot and fresh, you know. The best way to eat it. You see? Perfect. Finish the pork meal. Steak, sweet potato down. Until next time. Good. Good, good. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, I got my fifth meal here. Fifth meal is going to be uh, fish. Uh, 100 grams of rice and uh, looks like I have one more meal after this, the sixth meal, which is just fish. So this is how my day pretty much ends, fish. <laughs> so yeah, I'll eat the fish with the rice and then just the fish. But for now, I'll put this in the fridge because some of tomorrow's food is waiting for. Okay, the time right now is about 11.30 and uh, each one of these meals is uh, 250 grams of, of white fish. So around one or so, I'll eat this one. 250 grams of fish with 100 grams of rice. Then I'll finish my day out around 3.30 with the 250 grams of white fish. 
All right, guys, this was a full day of eating with your Olympia champion, Brandon Curry. Hope you guys enjoyed getting inside my diet a little bit and seeing what my typical day of eating is like. Yes, it's a pretty long day of eating if you throw in the naps and stuff in there. But luckily enough, we had a guy come around and get to show you guys the inside of what goes on in an Olympia preparation diet. We're 10 weeks out, so a lot's going to change from here. But this is where we are right now. See you in the next one.